All right, let's do our first full proper big turn, grown-ups turn. So, the card says it will be orange, black, white, and then obviously green. So it's going to be orange and green again. There's a little double arrow thing. That means that one of these continents is going to move up two places. Which one? Well, that's why we turn one of the green Goldilocks cards. And it is this one. This icon means Laurentia or Laurentia will move up two places. So I'll put them there just now just so you can see them. But this guy is going to move up two places. So these kind of notches match up. So that's one place to there. And then that matches there for another place so just put those back and that becomes a two matches up with there lovely that's moved up so i've done that bit there moved up that continent lovely here we've got something to do for one and six and that, again, relates across here with these dice. Two is this one here. So horizontally, this is one. These two hexes. This symbol means that if there are white cubes, I believe, I'm just going to look it up just to be absolutely sure. Uh, if there are white discs on green we take them off but we take green discs from oxygen and put it into any green so effectively a forest has just popped up in there which means that the green discs have went down so there's going to be more oxygen see we're learning stuff um that's that one done because there's nothing on row six this means clouds, this means atmosphere, and in the middle there's a white arrow. So from the clouds, take a white disc and put it in the atmosphere. So clouds to atmosphere. Now that's took us into the warm zone. So at the end of this, I need to swap that for a different uh, marker. And I need to remember, because I also need to remember and swap the cards up there. Okay, this one means from the atmosphere to somewhere on the earth and is a white disc and this icon means that it is a rain shadow constraint and it basically means that this white disc is going to have to go either in the middle which it can't because all the middles are taken or it goes downwind of a mountain there's a mountain and that's downwind. Well, the wind in this level is going to the left. So it's going to be there. So we need to take a disc from the atmosphere. And it goes in there. So this is now full of ice. This icon looks like DNA strands. means that thankfully all of those DNA, all those mutation cards are all now completely hopeless and get taken away and get replaced. So I'll just throw them to the side. The fact that the white disc came off atmosphere means that I don't have to replace that now. That stays where it is. And quickly put these out. Oops. Right. Next thing is here, and this means offshore, which is these guys on the edge. A green disc goes to the oxygen. This bit with the, let's get the green arrow and then let's get two black arrows. This means that this is where the green player with the media card could, if they wanted, take all of the green 
from the offshore and put them in oxygen if it wanted. Will it? Eh, probably not. Um, it could, in theory, end the game because you would take all four, put them up here, and it would, yeah, that would pretty much end the game. So we're going to say no. Green player won't do it, but he will take, let's say, this one. Off the offshore and put any oxygen. So the oxygen has kind of decreased a bit. Uh, offshore, black disc, and send it to the uh, atmosphere. So offshore we have pretty much a whole bunch of them. We'll say we'll take this one. Just, well, take it from a different continent, just to be fair. And it goes to the atmosphere now. I usually just kind of keep all the black discs at the bottom and then the white ones at the top, but they can mix, it really doesn't matter. But that puts the temperature up again. Now this is, oh, again, this means that we lose all these mutations again. Putting new ones. Right, let's go there. So, after getting a fine mix of mutations, they're all gone again. Right, all new mutations. We have fins and legs, we've got wormy things, sweat glands. Something to do with rhinoceroses, tooth enamels, windborne seeds, rather creepy raptorial claws. Huh, okay. Right, and so those two cards are done. Done and dusted, but that last white disc has bumped the temperature up, so this comes out of play. This one comes into play, which, being quite honest, doesn't change much. But all of the green cards that I was using, Goldilock cards, they now get replaced with two hot cards. So these are now going to be the alternatives. Right. Okay. We have red, then go well, orange, then green. So orange again only has two actions. Green has still three actions. So two versus three. Hmm. Okay. Orange has got this guy now. He could, if he wanted to, promote this card and flip it to this side so that he gets some flying beasties which would be this he'd have flight feathers so you would have snails that can fly that's pretty creepy right that's a possibility but uh, let's see there's other good stuff he's only got four here so he can only pick from the first three columns zero two and four Six and eight doesn't have enough for them. So, let's see, what is he going to pick? Mostly blue and green have been the ones that I usually pick. Green is usually used uh, later for... Hmm, that's a good question. What is it usually used for? Mm, I think, oh, fighting. It's usually used when you are... Uh, somebody tries to invade your your space. Uh, let's see, red and yellow are mostly used when you get to being kind of carnivorous, but I've never really done much of that to be honest. Let's see, we're going to buy, uh, do we go for windborne seeds or viviparous with rhinoceros on it? Um, or a green, but then we're not going to be doing any fighting any time shortly, so... Yeah, let's forget green just now. Let's go for... 
Let's go for this card. Viviparus. Uh, I think it just means we give birth to live things. Yeah, probably. Right. Okay, we'll take that. That's one action. And we get a blue. Now, should we size up or should we put more on the map? More on the map would be difficult because we only have these two hexes. We can't put anything in there. Uh, let's just size up. That'll do it. That's, that's the two. Right, green. Oops, need to move the cards. Now green has obviously got his eye on that blue card because he quite fancies that blue card. Uh, again, three actions, so he's definitely going to grab the blue card. Definitely going to go for that. Get some windborn seeds. Get some his first blue cube. Lovely. So we have a plant with windborn seeds and it has a cracking sense of smell. Fair enough. Uh, second thing. Mm, we'll say that they are going to we'll say they're going to populate just one could do two wait 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 hang on would you take another mutation first before we do anything else mm, he has five so you could buy something from zero two or four could go for sensory hairs, but I think he's going to go for raptorial claws because it's so apt for a crazy plant. So that's two. Third thing we'll say is, yeah, they'll populate with one. And that's it. So that was one, two, Three actions. Done. And the whole dispersals thing is easy. It's just one green dome. And it can go from either of these two. These are both mothers now, effectively. So you could go here, here, or here. We'll say he's going to go here. This way, he has a chance of potentially rafting, but no, he can't. Because if he rafted, he would raft to there. And he would just die. Hmm. Okay, may not be the greatest idea, but eh, it may still work. Uh, okay, we've done the actions. We've put them. We don't have anybody to bury or anything like that. So that is another turn. Finito. Let me just move those cards up. Right. Let's see what the next disaster is.